Hey guys, I'm Justin from Cooking with Koi. I specialize in clean comfort cooking. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make these extra crispy and very healthy broccoli tots. And if you love this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get started. One thing you guys should know about me is that I love to eat like a kid. Chicken fingers, french fries, tater tots, all that stuff I absolutely love. However, I'm getting a little older and I know that I need to eat healthy. So this is why I love these broccoli tots so much. Imagine tater tots, but then mash in some broccoli and you've got broccoli tots. Before we get started, I preheated my oven to 400 degrees. First thing we're gonna do is grate our onion. I'm only gonna use about a quarter of this onion. So I cut it in half, cut it in another half. I love grating vegetables when I need to make them really small and not chunky at all. There's just one thing that you always need to be careful of when you're grating anything. It's that your fingers don't get too close to the blade. More than once, I have grated the tips of my fingers off and it really, really hurts. Now we're just gonna take this grated onion and put it in the bowl. Next, we're gonna do a fine chop on the parsley. Let's drop it into our bowl with the grated onion. And now we're moving on to the broccoli. A really important thing for when you're chopping this broccoli into florets is that you remove as much of the stem as possible. The reason for that is that when we form the tots, it's harder to do it when you've got big chunky pieces of broccoli stem. Now we're gonna toss this broccoli in a pot of boiling water and just blanch it for about a minute. So the broccoli is ready to go, so we're gonna go and drain it. One thing that I like to do in this step is to spray a little cold water all over the broccoli. Um, it does two things. Number one, it's gonna keep the broccoli from overcooking. And number two, it's going to cool it down so I can handle it when I go and chop it into really small pieces. Next step, and this is really important, we need to finely chop this broccoli into as small pieces as you can possibly make it. If you prefer to use a food processor, you can definitely do that too, but I'm gonna use my knife because I don't wanna get my food processor dirty. Who needs one more thing to clean up these days, right? You gotta get the thing. <laughs> Ann and I were talking the other day about the Muppets and how there was a Swedish chef character who, whenever he was cooking, he would do this. And like all the food would fly everywhere just like that. The point is, is that we've got to cut this broccoli extremely, extremely small. So here we go. Now we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients into this bowl. We're gonna start with uh, two thirds of a cup of panko. Here's one third and here's two thirds. Then we're gonna add one egg, one half cup of Parmesan cheese, one tablespoon of Italian seasoning, and a pinch of salt and pepper. Just about a teaspoon. And the same with the pepper. And now I'm gonna grab a spatula and just give everything a mix. Uh, you can already smell the Parmesan cheese and the Italian seasoning, and it smells amazing. So now we're gonna get into forming the tots. I already lined my baking sheet with parchment paper. Now I'm gonna take one tablespoon of the mixture, put it into my hands, and then compress it into a ball. And then from there, I'm going to flatten the ball out into kind of a cylindrical shape, just like a tater tot. Yeah. Just like that. Before we pop these tots in the oven, I'm gonna spray them all with a little olive oil. You just want a nice even coat on the top, and then I'm gonna rotate them and spray the bottoms. If you don't have olive oil spray, you can drizzle olive oil on them or brush them if you have a brush. All right, let's pop them in the oven. I'm gonna cook these tots for about 20 minutes at 400 degrees, but about halfway through, I'm gonna flip them over. Of course, these broccoli tots have a lot of broccoli in them, but what I love about this recipe is that the broccoli doesn't have this overwhelming flavor, and that's because the Parmesan cheese and the Italian spices do a really good job at balancing everything out. 
We just took the tots out of the oven and they look and smell fantastic. I cannot wait to taste them. Before I do, if you've loved this video and you wanna see more, check out my healthy recipes playlist. All right, let's get into them. My favorite dipping sauce for these tots is ketchup, but you could also use ranch or barbecue sauce, Thousand Island, aioli, whatever you want. Here we go. Mm. These tots are absolutely fantastic. You can really taste the Italian seasonings and the Parmesan cheese really come together to make them just so flavorful. I know you guys are gonna love these. You know, I wonder if my son would like them too. So guys, this is my son, Sebastian. I don't think you two have met. Sebastian, guys, guys, Sebastian, can you say hi? Hi. So Sebastian, I would love for you to try these amazing broccoli tots. Do you wanna try them? Yeah. Okay, uh, I think you should dip them in ketchup. Would you like to dip them in ketchup? Yes. Okay. Okay, here you go, you wanna try them? Yeah. See what you think. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Do you like them? Yes? No. <laughs> Did we put spices in here? Oh yes, there are a little bit of spices, Italian spices. Do you like Italian spices? I don't, I don't like spices. You don't like any spices? No. No spices. no spices. So maybe next time I make them for you, I won't put spices in there. Okay. Okay, special note. If you're gonna make them for kids, maybe hold off on the Italian seasoning. Right? Good job. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> okay. That's good, that's good, that's good.